All right, folks, here it is. The other craft supply subscription box that I'm going to do. It's called the Cherry Box. The company is called A Cherry on Top. And it is new to me. I don't know if it's new to you. If it is not new to you, please leave a comment and let me know um, what you think of it, what your experience is, that sort of stuff. Just for comparison, I don't know where I put my last Your Creative Studio box. Um, but this is a Your Creative Studio box. Okay? This is the size of it. So, the cherry box is the size it is, I believe, because some of the stuff that they put in size, inside is full-size scrap of papers. So 12 by 12. I believe that's the case. Um, I think I remember seeing that in the sample um, pictures. So um, I am so excited that I have not even properly prepared to do this video, and I've already started the video. That's how I ran upstairs when I heard the mailman, and I grabbed this, and I turned my camera on. Let's see if we can actually get the camera straighter and far enough away to fit this whole box in. I don't think I can, guys. I don't, I think we're going to have to, you know, we're, we're going to have to be on and off the screen. So anyways, um, this box is approximately $10 a month more than the Your Creative Studio box. If I continue to do this, I will do links and price comparisons and quality comparisons and all that jazz. But for my very first time opening up this box, I really just wanted to see what it is that they offer and how it differs. So let's just get this box open and find that out. That's my um that's my waiting music. <laughs> Nothing but professional production here, I'm telling you. Okay. So similar insides, right? It's wrapped in tissue paper. Um this is different though. Usually um your creative studio has a uh, a, a business card. This has a little bit of a envelope. Now, I don't know if this is giving us a clue what's in the box, right? Um, your Creative Studio, the business card, actually gives you a clue what's inside. But it makes sense. It says, Welcome Spring. With this box, we encourage you to try something new. Create a mixed media page in your journal, try a new technique on your scrapbook layout, or create a card in a different format, such as a circle. Huh, yeah, circles are hard. Um, so, oh, this is what's included in there. Let's not read it. Shoot, I held that up there too long. Pretend you didn't see that. So I'm going to think I'm going to set this box aside because this is so much bigger that I can't keep it on screen. But I will pull things over here instead. So, all right. It comes wrapped in cherry red tissue paper. And you can certainly bet I'll be using that. And then it comes in a bag. It's a whole kit of stuff in a bag. So let's open up the bag and right off the bat, there's a journal. <laughs> if you've paid any attention to any of my um, Windy Wednesday videos on Facebook or the one that's now lonely on YouTube, you'll know that journals are about the last thing I need. However, this does say specifically mixed media journal, which means the pages in here will probably hold up really well to mixed media stuff. So we will definitely be giving that a try to find out if that's the case. Um, don't make a promise you can't keep Stamperia, but they're such a good brand. I, I just have a feeling these, this is going to hold up really well. Okay, this is taped. I don't want to wreck my new journal. 
Nope, that came off really nice. Don't you hate it when things are stuck together with labels that just rip your stuff apart? I hate it. Um, this is, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to put this in my junk journal supply box. Even labels can be used, right? Oh, this is heavy duty, heavy duty pages. Yeah, okay. I don't know though, mixed media gets so chunky. This is still gonna probably end up being a super fat book. 36 plain pages, um, cover double sides printed. Cover is double sided printed. Elastic closure, acid free. Let's see if it says anything. Ideal for scrapbooking. The text is too little, and I don't have the correct glasses on. Okay. Created by Vicky. Um, I don't know how to say her name. Pap Papiano? I'm not sure, but I watch her on YouTube. Let me see if I can hold that close, and there you go. See that name? Goodness sakes, man. Um, I watch her on YouTube. Give it a peek. All right, so I'll pull out the another, the next, the another. I'll pull out the next what looks like a main piece and it looks like yes this was foreshadowed in the pamphlet that came with this this is also by vicky um i this is how i saw it the um cherry on top box too is on her channel and then um i decided to take a look at it so I don't know how involved she is, but she's pretty involved with the company. And um, Stamperia is just cool. It just is. Let's see what this um, scrapbook and paper pad looks like. Whoa. So the cover um, is usually a part of Stamperia, right? Or Stamperia. Um, in that it's the same weight as the whole rest of the pack. And it has pictures that you can definitely cut up and use. And then it's usually printed. It is. On the other side with other things that you can use. In this case, fussy cut flowers looks like. Or background stuff. And there is... Can I? Oh, that almost fits. I think that's enough. So there is the first page. Love this wreath. I don't know how I would use that, but I accept the challenges in the envelope. Lovely background. Lovely picture. It's a very country feel, very old timey kind of feel. Yeah, definitely farmhousey. Oh, Shelly, look at the lilacs. It's very lilac-ish. <laughs> Peeled paint. Bicycle. I want to buy an electric bicycle because I really can't ride a bicycle anymore, but I love riding a bicycle. So I want an electric one so that if I, I can ride a little bit and then if I'm stuck out and my legs won't work anymore, I can just ride. Put, kick in the electric part and it'll take me home. If you are a person who has an electric bike or if you know someone who does and you know a good brand to, to look at or a bad brand to stay away from, oh, more comments. Totally not to do with art or opening boxes of crafty supplies, but still, share the info, peeps. Share the info. Oh, cut apart cards. I like this. This is, this is me like sage green and daisies. Lovely. Lovely. They have a lot of clocks in their collections. And I have a hard time figuring out how to use them. Not that I haven't used them, but like I've mentioned a hundred times today, I think, in different ways and videos and, and arts I'm doing, even if I've just mentioned it to myself, circles are hard for me. Love this. Lots of cut aparts. 
happiness, nature, home, peaceful, memories, beautiful. Home is where your heart is. It's true. Happiness is homemade. Sweet memories. There's no place like home. Live simply, laugh, laugh often, love deeply. Enjoy the simple things. Enjoy the simple things. Gosh, that's an important lesson to learn. And some more cutouts. A lovely purple and daisy page to go with the green and daisy page. They will be used first because I love them. And the back. I often cut out these little squares because I can use those too. And these borders. I often cut those out if they don't interfere with what I want on this, this side. I will often cut these out. So um, we have a mixed media journal and we have a stamp pad setting the tone for what we might want to do in the journal. And then it looks like there is a handful of supplies that go with this. First, a raspberry dye ink pad. So here, I don't remember if dye ink pads are the permanent kind or the water soluble kind that you can mess with. Um, what I do appreciate a ton though is that the color says raspberry. And raspberry is one of my very favoriteest colors ever. So let's take a peek at what's in here. Are we taped shut even more? I can't get it open, guys. Ooh, oh, I broke. Did I break it? I didn't break it. Oh, that is promising. We're going to test that out in just a minute and see what the color looks like for real. There is a blending brush that since it came with this set with the strawberry, I will assign it to the strawberry because my blending brushes are all filthy dirty. There is a matte glue. Stamperia Create in Happiness by Vicki. This is also by Vicki. Matte glue, acid free, quick drying for I ideal for journaling. Water based. Okay, I will try Vicki's glue. Finding a glue that you love is always a journey, and everybody likes stuff that's different. Here is a, um, gosh, I love this too. This is a, a brick wall stencil. I have a couple of brick wall stencils. Um, one that I'm not happy with at all. One that I have tried to use, but I'm not happy with my lack of stenciling skills. <laughs> and now I have this one, and I sure love the design. I hope I can do it justice. Um, let's take a look. So it's got some freeform bricks, some more uniform kind of, you know, ordinary bricks. And it looks like it's got a couple different stone patterns up here. So it's got different areas to do different ideas. Um, maybe that's what we'll do in raspberry. I mean, raspberry bricks is a little weird, but who cares, right? It's a test and they'll be beautiful. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, ad adhesive paper cutouts. So a pack of ephemera stickers. I'm interested in the weight. Right off the bat, I will be interested in the weight. Let me pull a piece of paper quick. Whoops. So that we can see what they are. Because they're going to match the paper pad. And they would, if I didn't put them on a separate sheet, they would just blend right in, right? So let's see what's in here quick. And then we'll put them aside and we'll try out this raspberry. That's lovely. There's a sheen to that. I like the window. It's got flowers. Can't go wrong there. And they definitely match the flowers I saw in there. I think that's an aster, isn't it? The purple daisy looking thing. A birdhouse. A puppy. A bird to go with the birdhouse. Flower pots. A repeat of the bicycle. Gosh, am I glad that is pre-cut out because I would never fussy cut it. But look, it's completely cut. 
that's lovely also a fence the same thing bunches of flowers alternative birdies you know the birds in my backyard came back way too early I wanted to put out this new birdhouse that I have for them but they were here like already a month ago their the home we have is just gross and I wanted to give them a nice new home watch if I give them a nice new home they won't even like it <laughs> that would be hilarious um so these chairs are kind of cool but this this part that should be cut out in the legs isn't and when everything else is a spot that isn't really glares to me I don't like that it's just me being super ridiculous picky but there's a door lovely I hope you're watching I stopped talking about what's in here and talked about the birds in my backyard instead for a minute there table cat let's see if the kitty goes in the window the kitty could totally sit right there on the window told the kitty could also sit right there on the kitchen table some teacups I love stacked teacups don't know why just do flowers teapot more teacups more birds bird lots of different sizes of birds flowers and leaves different shape of teapot flowers and leaves more flower pots wow okay so there's a lot in there let's see if it said how many pieces 300 grams well that doesn't tell me how many pieces what does it say adhesive paper cutouts there's a bunch of information that's not in English okay I don't know how many pieces bunches we're just gonna call it bunches and we're gonna leave it right there and pull this right out and set it aside and set the book aside now let's see what the raspberry dye is like dye ink Ooh. Oh. dye inks and pigment inks are the two different kind I mean the not only two different kind but they're the two different basic kind I use I think and I don't really remember which is which there's the raspberry on there let's see some bricks in raspberry Oh, okay. This might be the kind that's not waterproof because I'm looking at my VersaFine Claire right next to me and it says that that's pigment ink. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Not as dark as I'd like in my raspberry, but it looks like I just have to go over it a little bit more. Now, obviously, I would use it you know more for flowers and that kind of thing but um this is just a test don't panic this is only a test i'm going to try it a little bit more on the bottom part of the stencil and then i'm going to grab a water bottle we're going to see it reacts and if it reacts I believe I have to fill a bottle because whenever I run out of water in my big jar my cat demands that I fill her little tiny water bottle that sits on my desk and then I'll dump the water out of my spray bottle it's a silly relationship my cat and I have. Okay, let's see. Does it react? 
I'll take a second if it's gonna, I'm gonna see if it runs. Does it move? It definitely moves. And if we spray what's left over, does it then transfer the leftover? Looks like it's gonna, that might be fun. White bricks with raspberry grout. Sure, why not? Why not? Can you see that? I'll bring you in closer. There you go. It's a bit shiny. A bit shiny. It doesn't react like the oxide inks and distress inks and stuff, but it does. Um, it does react to water, you know, just in the way that it will move and stuff. All right. Um, lastly, let's pick one little tiny flower and see how easy or hard it is to get the backing off the sticker and how thick the sticker then is. That wasn't too hard, but I did pull up the cardboard a bit. And then it's not that thick. It is definitely cardstock, but it's thin cardstock, which I personally love because all of your work gets pretty, um, all of your work gets pretty bulky anyway. So I like each piece to be fairly thin and easy to use. Oh, that's nice. That sticks really well. That sticks really well. And then lastly, let's take a look at Vicky's glue. Oh, I wanted to know if it was sealed in there. I sure like the fine tip on the bottle. It's not flowing well yet. It's got air bubbles in it, of course. Let's see if I can get a fine line to come out. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I can get a pretty nice line to come out after some adjusting for, you know, shipping. So I'll be using these products in the challenge, right? That it said inside this little paper or this little pamphlet. So Welcome home scrapbooking pad. That was the 12 by 12 adhesive paper cutouts. We looked at all of those. Mixed media journal. That was lovely. I've never had one. Um, so while I don't need any more journals, I have one and I am just thrilled. <laughs> Create happiness bricks stencil. That's this. The raspberry dye ink pad. The blending brush and the matte glue. All of these things were in the box but that's all that was in the box. And it was $44. I'll be doing some math to see what I think about that and if I feel like it was worth that price. And how does that compare to your Creative Studio, which has a lot more stuff in a sm much smaller box for about $34, if I'm remembering correctly. But like I said, I might try comparing again um, I don't think one time is enough to know what I think. Um, and we'll do more comparison about um, quality, usability, prices, and all that jazz if I do go ahead and do it again. If you want me to, leave a comment on that as well so that I know um, that there's more curiosity than just me. And then I will be a little bit more motivated to go ahead and try, that, try it again. Thank you so much for tuning in and learning about the cherry box.